Today we're going to be going over how to install the Q5 IPS kit from Funny Playing into your Game Boy Color. This kit is pretty straightforward and only requires three wires to be soldered for the full function of the kits to be available. However, you can also skip installing these wires and have just the default options working. However, you will be limited to a lower brightness level. We also recommend using Funny Playing specific shell for these kits as modifying an OEM shell will be a rather large undertaking. The first thing we recommend doing is disconnecting your ribbon cable and inserting the screen into the shell after removing the paper from the adhesive. The kit should go in with the bottom half of the LCD being placed inside the shell first and then the rest of the screen will just hinge into place. Once you've got your LCD in the shell, let's prepare the ribbon cable. We'll need to tin the three points on the cable. Start, select, and power. There are two longer wires and one shorter wire. We recommend using the shorter wire for the power point as the other two can reach the start and select test points on the bottom of the board. Once we have our wires soldered onto the ribbon cable, we can then reconnect the LCD to the control board. There are two pieces of adhesive on the back of the ribbon cable. However, since this is only a temporary install in my console, I won't be using them. Feel free to if it's a permanent install for you. Now, let's put the buttons and their membranes into the shell. With the ribbon cable reconnected to the LCD screen, we can start soldering the connections for the buttons. I personally will be using the vias near the top of the motherboard, however you can also use the test points located right next to each button. You will need to solder start and select first before flipping the motherboard over and inserting the ribbon cable. Once you have your ribbon cable inserted, you should only have one wire left, the power wire. It will get soldered to the point labeled C on the power switch. Finally, before inserting the screws into your shell, pop in some batteries and make sure that your touch sensor is working. You may have to move it around some until you get it to be reliably detecting touches on the outside of the shell. I had to use an extra touch sensor in order to get my touches to register in the shell unfortunately. If you come across something like this, you can use copper tape and any wire to make your own touch sensor. From here, you can insert your screws and begin testing your console. If you hold start and select, you will see the colors of the bar at the bottom change. This indicates that you are editing the screen. When Game is highlighted, pressing Start and Select will raise and lower your screen. If you press the touch sensor once, it will change the highlighted work to Boy, which will move your screen left and right with Start and Select. Finally, if you press the touch sensor one more time, Color will be highlighted, and pressing Start and Select will cycle through the colors. When you're done making edits to the screen, you can just hold start and select for 10 seconds to save the settings. Finally, holding down the touch sensor will swap between pixel modes. There's a total of 5 different display modes. And as always, if you just tap the touch sensor, you'll adjust your brightness. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe and check out our wiki in the description.